God speaks to us by seeing, by hearing, and by knowing. I'm not saying that under seeing are various ways that we see. Do you get the point? So a dream is a form of seeing. So seeing implies visionary encounters. And in the scripture, there are different types of dreams. Joseph dreamed about the sun and the moon, about the chiefs, he just standing there and well, bowing to him. It's a dream of destiny. Are we together? So there are dreams that, in that dream, your purpose, your destiny is unlocked to you. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. So it is very important. So sometimes your dream, God can appear to you and it's real. In the dream, angels can appear to you. For Joseph, angels appear to him in a dream. Are we together? And it's real. And Solomon awoke and behold, it was a transaction in a dream. Dream transactions are real. Somebody dreamt that the bath is here. And he woke up. His year has been bathed. He awoke and built was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem and stood for the ark of the Lord and offered up bottle of free and offered peace of free and made feast to all his servants. So by the time we had the two Lord, which was the next thing I was going to say, the reality that he had impartation in that dream from the Lord showed up. The demonstration of a wise and understanding heart in handling the two adults that, you know, that both after the children, that the one that the child died and two other persons' child, you know, became very clear. Are we together? Are we together? Now, don't forget, where did this happen? In a dream. When God answered him, he was rewired. So here, Solomon had a dream. It's a dream of impartation. Dreams of impartation are extremely real. They are very, very real. And the name of impartation, there's a divine installation of grace, a divine installation of the anointing, a divine installation of capacity, of capability, of ability into your life. So you find yourself being able to do what you cannot do before.